machine trying to become alive, become aware, self-aware. And sugar is your worst enemy ever. Look at that. <laughs> Black, white, and red. Sugar's your worst enemy. Sugar cane. Cane killed Abel. There's you you can brush your teeth with some salt and kill the bacteria, but if you brush it with sugar, you're gonna have cavities. Look at that. Now open ABC liquor. Now open it. So I noticed the elevator is trying to become aware, become a lie or self aware and the washing machines. The industrial elevators, industrial washing machines, they're trying if you if you leave for a few days, it breaks down to pull you back. And these machines are trying to become aware. Now why? Why is that? Self aware. Well most men most mankind most of mankind's not a self they're not even self aware. And so you know that man in the old Adam is just an AI robot. That's why the devil can deceive Eve, you know, because she's the flesh side of Adam. So the AI robot is trying to become self-aware, trying to become alive. And so the AI flesh mind is dead. And anything man makes is dead. This car is dead. That telephone pole was alive, but they made it, and now it's dead because they took it from a tree and made it. Everything man makes is dead. That building's dead. That telephone box right there is dead. That signal box is dead. That communication wire is dead. That power line is dead. Those tires are dead. The mirrors are dead. Everything's dead that man makes. So you would, it would come to a logical conclusion that man is trying to become self-aware without God and so the machines are trying to become self-aware because they're in, made in the image of man God made man in his image he fell into sin he lost his awareness he lost his spiritual connection with God his union and the only way you get back is through Jesus by faith you appropriate by faith he, infused, he gives you the earnest of the spirit as a down payment because you're sealed until the day of redemption so you get the earnest of the spirit until you get your new body right and when you see jesus you'll be like him absent from the body present with the lord and so you become self-aware by the holy spirit and so those guide wires g-u-i-d-e graphical user interface of the holy spirit is d-e or e-d and so what holds that pole up, that guide wire? Keeps it from swaying. And so what holds you up? The Holy Spirit. And that guide wire, they usually have a yellow covering over them, and the reason is yellow is the cross. See that yellow covering over that guide, those three guide wires? So anyway, long story short, my point is this, AI, AI machines trying to become self-aware, and if it ever gets to the point where it's autonomous where it can pretty much build its own machine and build its own uh, batteries and build its own solar panel where it sustains itself through a program and then the AI can program another AI and they just program each other if they ever get to that point what are they going to do they're going to kill you the AI machine man would kill you I don't think it'll ever get to that point. It might, where they program, they they build into the program to survive, and so the way to to survive no matter what. So the way that the AI program would survive would to eat all the resources it could, grab anything it could, kill, steal, and destroy, just like the old Adam. Cain, Cain killed Abel. So the AI flesh mind is nothing but kill, steal, and destroy. Selfish, narcissistic, psychopath, sociopath. And so what man makes as a psychopath, AI flesh mind, because you're born in sin and, and sin is death, right? So what man makes in a dead state is an image of himself, 
a dead item and it's just going to bring death so the ai machine is going to bring death if they ever get it to get it to uh to the point where it wants to sustain itself through a program but anyway what was the other thing i was going to talk about the ai flush mine and the machines trying to become self-aware i forgot i totally forgot maybe i'll put this on pause and i'll remember I'm going to talk to my insurance agent. But the uh, uh, that's something to think about. What man makes, and it's all connected. Whatever I was going to talk about, and I forgot now, but it's all connected. So whatever man makes, whatever man makes is dead. It's going back to the grave. It's rust. And so whatever system man makes is the same way. And so... There has to be sacrifice in this system to keep a system up and going. Notice corporations every two or three years, they'll change people. They think they're going to renovate and change people. But they're just creating another system that's on a debt. It was dying. And they just create a system that they think is going to sustain. But they have to change. The reason they have to change personnel is because they have to, somebody has to be sacrificed. That's, this is a sacrificial redemptive system. And so, make a long story short, that's why you have to get a new car every so often. Somebody's got to pay. Somebody's got to pay. <laughs>